Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Back to Trey Lance's numbers. He went five for seven in team drills. Um, and as with anything, some people count seven on seven in their stats. The beat writers put out there. Some people count just team drills. So you're going to see some conflicting reports. That's usually what that is about. Um, yeah, <laughs> Zach, he says, Peyton Manning passes always wobbled. He turned out okay. It's not – you want it to be pretty, and Trey does throw a very, very pretty ball. But with his finger on the throwing point last year, caused some issues. Not a concern. From a coaching standpoint, not a concern. Yeah, you want it to look beautiful, but come on now. Uh, we want touchdowns. <laughs> That's what we want. So Trey Lance goes 5 for 7 in team drills. Um, Mosley got a huge pass breakup against Juwan Jennings. Uh, Mosley talked about afterwards he should have went for the interception. He was mad at himself. Um, and Austin Mack, one of the undrafted free agent wide receivers, slipped on a breaking route. Um, and so he slipped as the ball was in the air. So that was the other incomplete. So you love to hear that. 5 for 7, clean, crisp. I'm not the biggest subscriber into, you know, high completion rates in training camp, but... Here we are. We, we, we got to go through it, and that's okay. Yeah, Joe Montana wobbled. He didn't have a problem. Yeah, Sean, it's one of those things that just, you know, people, some people need sadness and negativity in their life. I understand that. Um, yeah, it's just kind of the way it goes. And so if you need something negative, that's something to focus on. That's great. You give yourself that little negativity chunk, um, and, hey, man, you do what you got to do. Nate Sudfeld. Um, in the words of Kyle Shanahan, don't sleep on Nate Subfield. But 7-7 seven seven, um, looked really, really good, which is very promising because my confidence meter in Nate Subfield stepping in to start more than two games this year, not very high. So if we can get some elevated play from him and just operate within Shanahan's scheme, just give us similar, similar to Nick Mullen's production. Uh, Nick Mullen's production was great, but just – Less turnovers, a little less production, I would take that. You know, Mullins was averaging two turnovers a game during his time. But no team in the NFL is built to win if you're turning the ball over with a backup quarterback. That's just the way that it is. No team is built to say, oh, yeah, we can overcome this. And so what you want from a backup quarterback is just going 500 over three starts. You know, basically getting one win out of three starts. If you get that, then you should be pretty happy. It's your boy Frank Gore. I'm listening to a 49er rush. Niners all day. That's bring six home.